Now this is deep water fishing. This is deep water dropping. The reel and the rod are working to its utmost right now. We're in around 600 meters of water, around 2,000 feet. You can hear the drag on this and it's working up about a metre every five or six seconds. I don't want to put too much on it, we'll lose the fish. It's a solid fish, and at the moment it could take another five or ten minutes. But this particular Shimano outfit is doing the trick. We're sitting back, us five watching the rod, watching the reel, working the current, working the boat to make it a lot easier. But nonetheless, there's no heat in this whatsoever. It's beautiful, it's quite cool. It tells me that we're definitely on a winner, both on the fish and the outfit. Now, we've decided to go into manual, which means we've pulled the rod out of the holder and we're just going to play the fish up slowly here, the benefits of having the handle. That short butt, or should I say this, that short stick allows us to get plenty of leverage on this fish. It's a really big fish. We've already got him up 200 metres, but he really doesn't want to come up much more. So we're just going to go hand and bit by bit. The thing is, we're running three heavy hooks on, on a very large dropper, there's a fair chance that we've got more than one fish on. And that being the case, slowly but surely, inch by inch, one foot in front of the other, we'll get him up. Just bit by bit. Well, we're at 150 metres now, a little bit, uh, bit of time has passed. Again, the reel is a tiny bit of warmth there, but, but not a lot. I'll tell you what, this fish is starting to give it. Normally, when you're deep water dropping, the last 100 metres, if it's a, a sand bass or a, a blue eye, or something like that, their eyes will blow, their bellies will blow, and the last 100 metres is quite easy. They'll come up and they'll surge on the surface about 100 metres away from the boat. And, but now the drag is starting to really take in effect here. I don't really have to do too much pumping and winding. If you take a look at my gimbal belt down here, I've actually pushed it onto my leg. Uh, it saves my groin a bit, but particularly when we've got a bent butt situation, I can bend my knees and just work that rod more easily. Like so, 120 meters now. What is this? I don't know. Feathering this fish with the Shimano plays. 9,000 because he's starting to blow his belly, whatever it is. Here we go, we've got a bit of colour down there now. We're starting to see some air bubbles come up from him. It's a very large fish. It's a very large fish. Steve, out of gear, mate. Out of gear. Yep. Here he comes. Whatever it is, it's pretty bloody big. No, it's not. And that's it. Here we go, guys. This is what it is. Thanks, mate. One monster of a fish hooked up to the Shimano Revolution. The play is 9,000. Not a drama whatsoever. We're fishing around 1,800 feet of water. It's pulled it up. The reel's not hot whatsoever deep water dropping for Shimano, get one on your boat. <laughs>